Hello, this is David with Mudslinger Pottery, and I'm back today to trim the uh, the tumblers I threw yesterday. I know you want to see how these come out, and you can see that it's still a little wet. I like to trim them when they're a little bit wet, and I've got a uh, a Giffen grip, which is just absolutely wonderful. So these I'm using uh, speckled brownstone, and this is about three quarters of a pound of clay. Now I've got a fairly heavy bottom and that's because I wanted that nice little foot in there. So now I'm gonna just clean up that foot. You'll have to excuse the noise. That uh, Giffen grip makes a lot of noise. So I'm just gonna clean up this foot, get it all set, and finish it out. And show you what this pot looks like when it's ready to go to the bisque kiln. I like a heavier foot. but I don't want it too heavy. And right now, this, this is a pretty heavy foot. And this clay is, is fairly damp. I mean, not, not damp, but it's definitely not, not that hard. So I'm just gonna clean this up. Get some of this clay out of the bottom so I can get this pot to a nice, nice weight where it's not so bottom heavy it just doesn't feel right I want it to feel right in your hand I think a foot really finishes off the pot it can make a good pot into a, a really nice pot So I'm just getting some of this clay out of the bottom of the foot, trying to clean it up. One of the advantages of working with the trimming a pot when it's a little bit wetter, you can uh, use a rib and really smooth this thing out. If it gets too hard, it's just not going to happen. Now, if you're using making plates or something like that, you know, you're going to have to let it stiffen up a little bit more. But for mugs and tumblers, things like this. You can trim it before it's too dry. Okay, so the last thing I do, and I want to get this right. Okay, I have, I've kind of moved it a little bit here because it is kind of thin. But I've got three points up top. I've got three points on the side of the tumbler. And I like to cut out the bottom of the tumbler's foot. And I do that, I find my spots here. By using the, the three spots of the Giffen grip. So I just take the, the trimming tool and I cut off a little bit of that foot. And this does three things for me. I still have a foot here. So I still have a little bit of weight in the bottom. So this is just a, a great little design element. It mimics the, the three points I've got already on my pots. And it also takes a little bit of the weight off. And then the last thing, and the best thing is, when you wash these in the dishwasher, 
and you go to pull it out, that water is not pulled up in the bottom of your tumbler and you don't pull it out of the dishwasher and splash it all over yourself. So I just take a little bit of water, clean this up, smooth it out. Make sure I don't have any points or spots here. I can hit it with my my stamp right here. And I just have to clean up a couple spots on the side of the pot here, right here. And there it is, let me get my stamp right. So I've kind of used three, three feet, three uh, push outs, and then three raised undulating rim. So there it is. And then when you've got it sitting on the table, it raises it up a little bit, creates a foot, and then I won't glaze that. So there it is, there's one of them. I love how these come out. Mudslinger pottery. Okay, so the other one is a little bit different because it's got two rings. So I'm basically gonna do the same thing, but I'm just gonna do it just a little bit different. So with the Giffen Grip, I still like to put a little water down here. It helps to keep the pot from moving because it even with the Giffen Grip, it's not necessarily going to be perfect. So even after I put it in the Giffen Grip, I like to check it and make sure it's right. So same thing, I'm just going to clean up the, the edges. is still a little wet but I've left myself a nice foot so if I were to leave it like this now I would have a pretty heavy foot and I want it a little weight there but I don't want it so much that it's it just seems off so I'm gonna carve some of that out and I've been using these tools that I got with my first pottery making kit. So that's just what I'm used to and that's what I use. I know a lot of people who won't cut a foot out in their pots. You know, just why waste the time? Who looks at the bottom of a pot? But uh, like I said, I think a, I think a nice foot really finishes off the pot, really gives it that completed look, and can turn a good pot into a great pot. So same thing, cleaning this up, getting some of the weight out of the bottom. It to look good when I put my stamp in here. I want my stamp to look good. Once again, because this is a little damp, I can take the red rib and 
I can just hold this on here, smooth it out, push all the, the grog and sand back into that clay. And really get a real nice smooth bottom so it's not going to be scratching up somebody's table. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut out three sides, but I'm not going to do both rings. I'm just going to cut out the top ring here. And like I said, this is to drop some of the weight, create a uh, nice visual look, and then the one that most customers like is the fact that if I do this, when they pull it out of the dishwasher, they don't get a they don't get the water poured all over them. So one. What's up? And the only way I can do this is if I leave this a little bit, little bit damp. If I, if it gets too hard, I can't cut these feet out, not not and get them to look right. And this one's a little bit harder because I am trying just to get that top ring, not get that second ring. But this is just one of those unique features that when you pick up a pot, a lot of people don't bother with. So anything you can do to Make your pot a little more unique, a little different. It helps. So just a little bit of water here so I can smooth this out. Make sure the edges aren't raised. my name on the bottom of this thing. And I just have to clean this up a little bit. So same thing right here. I'm just cleaning this little spot up here where I've cut it out. Okay, here we go. So there's the bottom. The foot lifts it up off the off the table a little bit. Gives me an area where I will not glaze the bottom and then glaze the rest of the pot. So it gives it a definition area, a defined area where that, that is. And it looks like the pot is sitting on a little stand. And that was done, the foot, was done by just a credit card, two hole punches there that fit in the side of the pot when I threw it. So there you go. When I get these fired, I'll uh, take some more pictures and post them out there. So I hope you all have a great day. Take care.